Hi there, this is James from Social Intents, and today I'm going to show you how to add live chat right to WebEx. This will allow you to chat with your website visitors right from within any WebEx space or direct message. If you go to the WebEx app hub and search on live chat, you'll see that we have two different applications listed. The first is an embedded app, which will allow you to customize settings, view chat reports, and view a live chat console. Uh, the second is the live chat bot. What this will allow you to do is receive uh, real-time notifications of new chats, as well as respond to those chats right within uh, any direct message or within a uh, WebEx space. So we'll start by adding the live chat bot. So simply click on the live chat application, add bot, choose your space that you'd like to add it to, and just click add. We're going to go ahead and open this in WebEx. Once you'll do that, when you do that, you'll see that we, add, we send you this live chat card. This is some helpful links that will allow you to uh, see getting started information, to test a chat, and some other details. You'll also see that this includes a live chat code snippet. This code snippet is what you would add to your website to enable the live chat. Uh, if you click try a chat, you'll be able to preview what the chat currently looks like. So by default, you'll see that our logo, um, a blue color, and some uh, default pre-sales information. You can customize all of this information. You can replace uh, the logo with your logo, um, set up whatever questions you want um, on the live chat entry page, as well as configure your pre-sales questions. We'll show you where to do that in a little bit here. Um, now that we've set up the, the live chat bot and we've received the card, you can add the embedded application to this space as well. You do this by clicking the apps tab at the top, searching on live chat, which is a little bit down on this list, and clicking uh, add to tab to add it to the space. Once you do that, you'll see that we have uh, the live chat console displayed. So this is where you can see new chats as they come in. Um, you can also look at previous chat histories and drill down into that chat history to see details. Also notice that you can export the uh, chat transcripts as CSV file. The live chat console also includes a dashboard where you can see high level metrics of how you're doing over time um, based on what uh, widget you've selected. So you'll see from the last week, we just have one uh, test chat. In order to configure your, your uh, chat widget, you would click on the chat settings and this is where you can see high-level settings, you can customize information and such. Uh, we'll see, start by selecting the live chat um, tab that we'd like, or live chat space that we'd like to send the chat request to. You can change the colors, the logo, set up transcript email addresses and offline email addresses, and set up some other configuration information. We'll go ahead and save the new routing here. Uh, also on the chat settings, you'll see that you can customize the text, including uh, what pre-sales information you're collecting. Um, you can set up custom fields if you want to collect, say, an order number, a customer ID, or anything like that. You can configure that as well. We do have a JavaScript SDK that will allow you to pre-populate that information if needed, and it will allow you also to send custom key value pairs over. So, for instance, if you have a website where your member's logged in and you already know their name and email, you can pre-populate that information up front. Your live chat does have a schedule that you can enable so that you can say that the chat is available during these hours and outside these hours the chat is offline. And when you're offline, you can either hide the chat widget or you can collect uh, the offline message using an offline form. By default, that offline form is enabled. During a chat, we do have the concept of shortcuts. Where it's a drop-down list where you can set up quick responses. We haven't set any up yet here in this demo application. Um, you do have full control over the style and what the uh, behavior of the chat widget itself is that you can configure here. And you can also set up your Google Analytics tracking uh, ID here so that we can collect custom behaviors that you can view right within analytics. So that's the high level on the chat uh, settings. Um, from this uh, uh, settings page, you can also get to the agent settings. This would be what your information is when you log in, when you respond to a chat. You can upload a custom photo as the avatar to respond with, um, and you can also set up an, a name or a nickname to respond with. 
Uh, next, we're going to show you just kind of how the chat widget works. So you saw that we had the preview page here. Um, I'm just going to start a chat, um, put in some example information, oops, and click start chat. So this is uh, what your visitor would see when they start the chat. And you'll see that we sent the chat notification into the live chat console as a queued chat. And we also sent a message into the chat. So this would uh, trigger a notification within WebEx, which we did get. And then to respond, you can either accept the, the chat as a direct message, which essentially pulls it to your direct messages um, and makes it private at that point. So it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation at that point. Or you can join within the uh, message here by clicking uh, join with at live chat messages. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, when I respond within the, uh, the space, um, since it is threaded and because of security constraints, you do need to mention the chat bot on each response. So to reply, you click reply and thread because each conversation is threaded. You mention the chat bot and you say, hi there. So once I send this back to the visitor, um, they'll see this response on their side. So you'll see that the, I respond with hi there. The other option is once you receive the notification, you can just click on over to the live chat tab um, that we've added and you'll click into a conversation and you can respond here to your visitor. So in this case, the visitor will also see the response. Um, you do have access to your shortcuts and some other um, information about the chat. Since we are just doing a test chat, you don't see some of that information here. Um, when the live chat is answered uh, on the live chat console, you'll see it moved from queue to active. And now that this is active chat, um, any member of this space can go in and view who's chatting with whom on the website so you can make sure that all your chats are answered. Um, so that's about it as far as getting started. If you'd like to set up a demo with us, we are happy to walk through details and answer any questions. Um, other than that, get started today.